Led by an all-star cast, including Helen Mirren, Morgan Freeman, and Kira Knightley, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms is one of this holiday's most highly anticipated films. Mackenzie Foy stars as Clara, who's desperate to find a special key that will unlock a gift from her late mother and ends up finding herself on an extraordinary journey in a parallel world. And Mackenzie joins us now. Mackenzie, good morning. Good morning. And Mackenzie, who plays Clara, oh my goodness, what an opportunity. When were you first exposed to the world of the Nutcracker? Ooh, I don't remember how exactly old I was, but I was pretty little when my family and I would go to the ballet during the holiday season. And now here you are, being Clara. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. I just, I love Clara and who she is. Mm -hmm. Now tell us a bit about uh, this version of the Nutcracker because it's a little different from uh, the ballet or the stage production, correct? Yes, so the film is based off of the book by E.T.A. Hoffman, but it is also inspired by the ballet. And there is um, there is a dance sequence in the film, which is performed by a professional ballerina, yes. Misty Copeland. Okay. But um, yes, and it also takes the film in um, new directions. There's a couple of twists and turns in the film. Now, do you find, now I heard you, I, we're saying that we're Americanizing Clara. It's Clara, is it Clara in the, because yes. you um, had to ha have a British accent. Yes, because of the British accent, it is Clara. Clara. But um, yeah, originally in the auditions, I said Clara, because that's, you know, how, as an American, I would say yes. it. And they were like, actually, they say it, Clara here. And that's actually what was challenging about the accent, is because there's a lot of things like that that are different. So it was interesting, like um, instead of secondary, they say secondary. So it was like little things like that that was tricky. And how was it get, using and talking with the British accent? I really enjoyed it. I could do it before we started filming, but I did have a dialect coach who helped me with Clara and Clara and those kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell us about the sets, because we're just uh, looking at a few clips uh, from the uh, film. They, they look incredible. Yes, they're absolutely gorgeous. The detail that went into every little piece of these sets and the costumes and the hair and makeup, they truly built world in this film. A lot of what you see, the forest, they built those with real trees and real dirt. They, parts of the castle are real. There's a massive scene where there's like this massive courtyard that was huge. And a lot of it you don't actually see in the film, but there was like real fruits and vegetables and real flowers on set. It was just amazing. What was it like for you as an actress to walk onto that set? Was it breathtaking? Or? Definitely. I mean, I mean, not, you know, actress thing aside, it, walking onto the sets and being a lover of art and seeing how it was created was just amazing. And then from the acting standpoint, not having to imagine what the green screen would be, mm -hmm. having it be there, you could really lose yourself in that world and move yourself more into your character. And I really enjoyed playing with that mentality. Oh, for sure. As soon as you get zipped up in one of those dresses, you're like, I'm Clara. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sure she definitely. didn't talk like that. But <laughs> did you get to keep anything? Any, any of the wardrobe? Any little keepsake? Uh, I did not. Not keep any of the wardrobe, but I did. There was um, it, it's not the key. It's not that key, but it was just a little key that was in one of the sets. Um, I asked permission to take it, so I didn't like take it illegally. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, the producers actually had to convince me to take it because I was like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to like mess up continuity or anything. And they're like, it's not even the shot. Just take it. And I was like, okay. Okay, so you didn't steal anything from I the set didn't. then, because I don't want to see Clara taken away in handcuffs. Okay? <laughs> that would be right. Actually, speaking of keepsakes, I understand that uh, you, your character, has been turned into a, a doll, right? Yes, yes, Clara. Clara is a Barbie, which is which is really fun. And there's one that lights up, which is really cool. How crazy is that you might actually be under people's Christmas trees this year? <laughs> that is, well, is kind of crazy. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. <laughs> uh, speaking of Clara, similarities between Mackenzie and Clara, are there? Did you find some? Ooh, yes. I would definitely say her curiosity. She's always curious. She finds herself in this world and she isn't afraid. She's curious about how this completely different world was right next to hers this whole time. Um, yeah, so I definitely relate to that and her determination. Okay. Yeah. All right. She was also a little bit of a tomboy for her time, wasn't she? Yes. She, because she is a mechanic and she loves science and all kinds of stuff, that was not really what women did in that in time Victorian. period. And so that yeah. kind, of, kind of makes her a social outcast, which is another layer of her character that was, you know, I had to figure out and try to place with all the different ones. All right. Well, the Nutcracker in the Four Realms. I know fans can hardly wait. You're going to have to wait just a little longer. It opens in theaters November the 2nd. Mackenzie Foy. Mackenzie, a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for coming in. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys, too. Nice to meet you.